What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go over all the sleep sizes and top loader sizes for your trading cards, your sports cards, and I'm going to try to cover as much as I can. There might be a few things missing, but I try to include as many different sets as possible. Anything critical that's you know missing will be added to the description or comments down below. So don't worry if it's not covered in this video. But this video is basically a guide that's going to attempt to answer all your questions about what top loader size, mag size, or sleeve size you would or you would or you should use for any specific card. But yeah, let's get right into it, guys. If you enjoy this kind of content, uh, consider dropping a like down below and subscribing uh, if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel more than you know. And uh, yeah, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. It really helps us grow. So let's start off with the uh, question that, you know, a lot of people... Actually, let me get something that is going to probably help explain this. So the question that everyone asks, what in the world is this thing called point and why is it everywhere I go? Well, it's the measurement unit used to measure the actual thickness of paper. And, you know, it's used for measuring trading cards and sports cards as well. So you guys can see like a example here of all the like different thicknesses and what they're called in terms of point. And what is point exactly? It's one point is equal to 0 0.001 inches or 0 0.0254 millimeters. And if you didn't know that before watching this video, you're probably doing the Owen Wilson wow face right now. But yeah, uh, now that you understand what the point um, unit means, uh, let's talk about what you all came here to see. So basically how this is going to work is, you know, we're going to put up the main table on the screen so you guys can see like most of it, uh, if not all the different mainstream point sizes for like thicknesses of, uh, for trading cards. Well, so actually I want to clarify this. So this video is kind of going to explain what, you know, top loaders and sleeves you should use that kind of like equal out the, the card thickness, but it's not going to be the exact card thing is because some cards are going to be thinner than you know the top loader but we do recommend using a slightly bigger top loader size or sleeve size than you know the card thickness itself just to not like be squeezing the card into the, the top loader or whatever but um yeah uh, i'm also going to show you guys the actual products uh this is one example we have a lot of them coming up and then some of the ones that i just like don't happen to have i'll put up on the screen so you guys can see all the different varieties and examples and alternatives that you can buy out there. And uh, yeah, then after that, I'm gonna try to list every set or subset, you know, that falls into like every thickness category. And then after that, we're actually gonna do some like hands-on stuff. Uh, we're gonna run through, obviously that's why all these cards are here. We're gonna try to run through as many sets as possible with all the different card types, you know, within those sets. I'm gonna be using as, you know, as many specific examples as I can so that everyone can like come to this video and you know go to their specific set i'll be have like i'll add uh, bookmarks in the description down below so you can just like click on the the set name that you're looking for to kind of get a quick answer and uh yeah i mean you'll you'll figure out what sleeves or what top loaders or what mags you'll need for those and okay so let's start with 20 point and just to let you guys know uh we're going to be discussing the standard you know three by four inch cards in this video so basically anything Bigger than that is not going to be included in this video. So if you have any like oversized cards or whatever, we're not going to be covering it. It's just going to be these typical, typical uh, sports cards. But yeah, so uh, most of the basic sets out there. So we're talking like all the paper sets. So, so something like Donruss and then you have like Prism and I don't know, like the, 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 the mainstream most popular sets out there, Mosaic too. I mean, I'll, I'll have the, the list on the screen at some point. I'll figure out like how to time it right with this video, but um, most of those are, the actual card is gonna be like 20 points. And most of the, the top loaders used for those are actually not 20 point up, but I just wanna include it up on the screen. So that to me personally, that's considered like thin. So 20 point is, I guess, works really well for most uh, like TCG games, so like Pokemon and maybe like uh, Magic, I'm pretty sure is like similar thickness to that. Uh, so when you get into sports cards, it kind of starts getting like thicker and a, like a more premium feel. So BCW and Cardboard uh, Gold have 20 point, but Ultra Pro doesn't and Beckett does not as well. And then if we move to the standard, which is, you know, in my experience, this is kind of like what you want to use for most of these like basic cards. And that's going to be 35 point and, you know, Ultra, Ultra Pro has it and Cardboard uh, Gold as well and Beckett. So... This was the first example that we kind of showed you guys. This was like right there. 
So this is kind of like the regular top loader. There's a lot of like variations of this, like a, I don't know, like a thicker material of the plastic itself for like premium feel or whatever. But I typically go with these. And then there's also these ones that work just as well. Cardboard gold. They're really, really good actually. Uh, so, and then the other one that we didn't mention is Beckett Shield and I'll just have it on the screen. And at this point, I'm not gonna like mention each one that we don't have. If you don't see it on it, like in my hand, it's gonna be up on the screen right after. So um, yeah, and then let's, I guess, move somewhat quickly to the next category. So it's gonna be 55 point. And uh, this is what I call like thickness category A, or like uh, this is like a thicker category. So you have standard and then you go thick. So thick category A, that's I guess the proper term that I wanna use. Thick category A is gonna be 55 point, 59 point, uh, 60 point and 55 point from Beckett. So I'm kind of listing all the, the possible ones you can get out there that are in this range. So category A for thick. And then when we move to the next one, it's gonna be thick category B. And that's gonna be like 75 point. I think I have one of these here, if not. But I'll have an image on the screen anyway. And so you have uh, for thick category B, you have Ultra Pro 75 point and then BCW 79 and then Beckett also 75 point. And then moving on to the next one, thick category C. That's going to be kind of like the very, very, like, it's the thick, the thickest one out of these, like, thick categories. So that's why I kind of have it uh, all the way down there. So category C, 100 point from Ultra Pro, 108 point from BCW. And I think we do have one of those. So that's what these look like. And they're kind of, like, color-coded from BCW, so that's kind of helpful. We have all of them just, like, laying around. And then cardboard gold. I feel like it's a tongue twister every time I want to say that name. So there's their 100 point. And uh, yeah, obviously you'll see like different variations for, you know, whatever reason, the manufacturer can't make it exactly 100 point. They'll make like 100, 108 point, or maybe because, I don't know, maybe along the line, some collectors requested, hey, can you make this slightly thicker? So yeah, that's why these variations exist and you can like kind of pick and choose. But typically what you see on that table, like all those work pretty well for the cards of that thickness, which obviously we will be getting into later on in the video. And then our first uh, super thick category is uh, category A, and that's gonna be like 120 points. And I was kind of on the fence between, you know, grouping this with the previous one or, you know, just having this one start the, the one after that, but there's actually not a lot of these used 120 point, but they do exist. And I'm trying to see if I actually have one. I don't. Uh, at this point, it's, uh, it's up on the screen. And then let's move to the main super thick category, which is category B, and it's gonna be 130 points. So. I mean, there's a whole website called 130 point for a reason. A lot of like higher end uh, sports cards are gonna be 130 point, like patches, memorabilia, uh, nicer autographs. And those are gonna be like the ones that we talked about at the very end. But, and then obviously Select has some of that stuff too, which you'll see. But yeah, 130 point is like standard for a lot of these like memorabilia and like high end, higher end autograph stuff. Even if it's like not higher end, like you'll see a lot of 130 point in a lot of different sets. So 130 point from Ultra Pro, 138, Point from BCW and 140 point from uh, cardboard gold. And the only one I think I have on hand is going to be this 138 point from BCW. So pretty cool stuff. I do, do really, really recommend using that one. And then moving on to the super thick plus, we got four of these because I mean, at this point, you're just the, the cards are like thicker than 130 point because that's, as I mentioned, that's the second standard for like the higher end cards and memorabilia and stuff. Uh, so category A is going to be 180 point or 168 point. And these ones are like 12 points off, but I decided, hey, they might as well be together. Uh, so super thick plus category A, 180 point from Ultra Pro and then 168 point from BCW. And I do believe we have one of those here as well. So, yep, color coded, as I mentioned, is extremely helpful when you're uh, trying to look for these. If you have like a bunch of different thicknesses at home. And then Super Thick Plus Category B is gonna be a 200 point. And I grouped it with 197 point from BCW and 190 point from Cardboard Gold. So, so these are, I, I mean, maybe recently, but these have been easier to get than Ultra Pro. Because Ultra Pro, I feel like is the most mainstream one and the BCW is like kind of up there with it. Uh, cardboard Gold, I should probably just say it's CBG at this point just to make things easier for myself. Uh, that one is kind of like maybe more recent times or like the less mainstream one, uh, however you want to categorize it. But 
yeah, that's category B. And then super thick category, uh, super thick plus category C is going to be 240 point. So BCW has it and then CBG has it as well. And the only one I have actually is from CBG and the BCW will probably be on the screen as well. And then the super thick plus category D, that's going to be the very, very last one. And where did it go? So these are, these are rarely used. And that's why, I mean, you guys saw like packs of like 10 or whatever, but they make these in like one. So one 360 point um, top loader. And these are typically used, uh, at least from my experience that I've seen. So there's like stuff. And I mean, you're gonna see a lot of soccer in this because we do obviously like mostly soccer on this channel. There is gonna be some basketball. I doubt there's gonna be any football here, like American football. So um, yeah, the stuff from Impeccable that has like the metal, like the silver and gold um, like pieces in them, they typically uh, go in this, but most people just put them in, uh, in mags. So that's uh, super thick plus category D. Uh, I know I skipped the mags actually, so let's go over those real quick. They basically follow the same pattern as the top loaders. So we're gonna start off, this is only like 20 point that I kind of had, that I just wanna show you guys, it's from like a different company. Uh, so yeah, these are, I don't honestly recommend using these for any like standard sports cards. Uh, you might wanna use these for like TCGs, but this is kind of where, actually, where is the, all right, there it is. So they, they do have 35 point um, mags, which I don't have. So that's, you know, gonna be the, the baseline where you wanna start for like base cards. But I typically feel very comfortable using 55 point for almost like all of these, even if they're just like regular prism base. Uh, Cause when you put like uh, the protective sheet on top, uh, you kind of, I don't know, it's like safer. So the, the, the surface, the inside surface of this mag doesn't like, kind of like press on the, on the card. So this is the one I feel most comfortable with for like all standard cards. And then you have obviously 75 points mags as the card gets bigger and then hundred point one, 130 point. This is the, so 55 point and 130 point are the ones that I use the most. And then uh, 180 points comes after that and 360. Look at how big that thing is. So again, you're gonna see a, a real life example and I don't know if you guys can see it maybe from like right there, but yeah, all thick boys go in here, so. And the first thing we actually should have gone over, I guess it's not really an issue to go over now, but penny sleeves. So this is kind of what you wanna put your cards in before you put it in a top loader. So I, I mean, I know there's like a lot of new people coming into this, so it's better to kind of be educated about this now. This is an example of a ready to go uh, penny sleeve and the reason why it's called a penny sleeve is because it's like a, a pack of a hundred sleeves is like a dollar so there's like a hundred of them each one is like one cent a penny so that's why it's called a penny. I mean nowadays these are kind of like more expensive than penny sleeves so yeah but the the name has just been there historically so that's kind of what I did I did it really quick if you don't know what to do uh, just try to pick a, a side and then push it in slowly you don't have to do it as fast as I am I just did it because that's kind of like second nature for me at this point but yeah, you want to put this card in here first. And this is like, uh, you know, just a mosaic base card. And then this is a standard 35 point as I talked about earlier. And you just want to put it in the 35 point. You can push on it gently with your finger. If you're not comfortable with that, you can always, you know, put it on the top. Like when it's like, actually, let me, I'll just show you guys. This is a base card. It's, it's really okay. So you can just make sure to thread the needle first. So you put it in like this and then you can kind of like tap on a surface until the card like falls to the bottom. If you're not comfortable with, uh, you know, if you don't trust yourself damaging the, the edge of the card or not. But now that that's out of the way, I'm actually gonna put this card where it came from because we're gonna be using an example here in a sec. And yeah, this one is just, you know, the, the most widely used one. I mean, Beckett has some, I think other companies also do, but uh, for thicker sleeves, uh, you can use these as well. These work uh, pretty well for me. And the Beckett ones also, I don't have any on hand right now. So it's, again, it's gonna be up on the screen so you guys can see it. But yeah, just to go back to kind of, you know, giving you specific examples uh, for each uh, thickness uh, going off the table. So 20 point, as I mentioned earlier, you know, I feel comfortable just putting those or putting TCGs in those. So like Pokemon and like all that other stuff. And then for standard 35 point, uh, you have like prism base, prism numbered, prism autos, mosaic base, mosaic. And I mean, I'll have a list of this so I don't read like the whole thing for you guys. So you guys can probably like see it up on the screen. Uh, all the 
uh, possible different like variations within that specific set uh, of what you can use 35.4. And then for 55 points, uh, you typically use, you know, Topps Chrome number, Topps Chrome autos, and then numbered autos, uh, Merlin, Finest, you have like SCC, and then Kaboom's going there as well, uh, Obsidian Base, Obsidian Autos, uh, not Obsidian Patch Auto, so it's going to be in the next category. Uh, you have Illusions Base, Certified Autos, uh, Museum Base, uh, Museum Numbered. So the one after that is going to be 75 point, and you know, some people are comfortable putting their Origins cards in them, uh, you know, Treble, or like thinner patches or Mems, and then you have 100 point, which is, you know, some Obsidian, uh sometimes like the the manufacturers like to change the the thicknesses of the cards but like i'm trying to make it as general as possible so you can actually like see which ones you can just go to buy and then put your cards in so 100 point uh tops inception and the autos typically go in that pretty well uh absolute base uh there's not a lot of absolute you see for soccer but i know you see it a lot for uh, american football uh absolute numbered absolute autos as well so uh and i think certain thinner <laughs> patches and mems as well and then you know that also applies to the 120 point and then we go to you know super thick category b which is the super thick standard and uh yeah i mean that's going to be like anywhere from like spectra base numbered immaculate like all those like higher end uh sets typically those are going to be you know those demand 130 point even even the base cards the base cards the numbered cards and like all that kind of stuff and obviously we are gonna show you examples here, as many as we can in a sec, but just to go over the rest of these. And uh, the last super thick plus, uh, I mean, honestly, there's like some immaculate cards that are like thicker than usual, uh, some impeccable ones, some national treasures. It really just depends on the size of the mem. That's kind of what really controls it. Or if there's, you know, a, a gold piece in there, like a silver piece, uh, flawless typically goes here. And then uh, some black gold as well, cause black gold can like have like some funky little uh, I don't know, trinkets in them or whatever. And then, um, you know, at the very, very end, the 360 point that we talked about earlier, that's gonna be, yeah, the impeccable silver bar and gold bar. And if I'm missing anything, guys, feel free to kind of mention uh, in the comments down below, and then we might like pin the comment if, you know, it's a huge, huge part of this video that we missed somehow. But yeah, time to actually go through some examples and let's actually start with Prism. So I'm actually gonna be very, very kind of like detailed about this. And this is a, base prism card and i use a regular penny sleeve for this and a 35 point top loader for most of these i'm going to skip the actual putting it in the top loader kind of thing because that's just going to make the video super super long i know it's like already like really really long so i'm just gonna kind of go through these examples uh, all together so we started off with prism base so prism silver is actually going to be the same thing 35 point and then prism parallels uh, like the regular parallels from like retail or whatever, even hobby, uh, non-numbered. These are also going to be 35 point top loaders. And then same for like SSP uh, prisms. Uh, I mean, you can find these from like choice or whatever. And now we're going to start with our numbered cards from a prism. So this one was one that we pulled on the channel. This one's uh, out of five. And believe it or not, this one also takes 35 point. So you don't need to step it up to 55 point just yet. And here's a base autograph from 2014 World Cup. This one also uses 35 point and yeah the last one you guess it is also 35 point even if it's uh, a one of one so yeah the nice thing about prism is that it's pretty consistent with the, the size of uh of top loader you should use so unless it's like a very 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 special card from that prism set it's it's all going to be the same so the same applies for uh donruss so regular donruss so the base any foils and then any press proofs uh, so i do want to actually like so unlike prism hold on let me let me bring back the prism cards so all the base and all the parallels they're they're generally extremely close in thickness if not exactly the same thickness but for donruss so the regular base and then the foils are actually the base is like the thinnest and then when you get to foils they start getting thicker and then press proofs are like slightly thicker and then the autographs you know i mean some are thicker than others this is a non-numbered one this is a numbered one so um yeah at the end of the day donruss paper all uses 35 point as well in terms of top loaders so up next is donruss optic and basically this is the brother of prism so you have a base you have a hollow you have a numbered card 
and you have a numbered autograph. They're all gonna use 35 point top loaders, so don't feel like you have to step up just yet. And up next is Mosaic. And guys, if you haven't noticed, we're covering all the like mainstream sets from Panini, then we're also gonna go to tops and then back and forth in Panini. So here's a Mosaic base, and then a silver, and a SSP non-numbered, and then a SSP numbered, which is, you know, just a parallel that's numbered. And then a, uh, I didn't have a numbered auto, but uh, actually like all of the autos from Mosaic are gonna be 35 point as well. So extremely similar to Prism. And yeah, that's just another brother. So Prism, Mosaic, Donruss Optic, they're all basically the same thickness. Okay, so now we get into slightly more complicated territory. So we have Select. And Select Base is gonna be, you know, just like Prism, 35 point. Uh, the Silvers as well, uh, the Numbered Parallels as well, the Non-Numbered Parallels, SSPs, and even Die Cuts. Die Cuts, uh, unless you, you, you know, you see it's like very, very thick. Typically, Select uh, Die Cuts uh, are also 35 points. And just to kind of show you guys, what I'm talking about. Because I'm sure a lot of you guys haven't seen select die cuts. So if you look at the thickness of this and thickness of that, I don't know if you guys can tell on the screen, I'm trying as much as I can, but they're they're basically the same, believe it or not. Uh, they are, there are other sets where the die cuts are, you know, thicker than your uh, usual card, but not in this one. And then we get into uh, kind of the more complicated stuff in select. When you get patches or autos sometimes, most of the time they're actually gonna be 130 point. So. This patch uh, is you know, also numbered and goes straight into 130 points. And this one also that we pulled recently on the channel, it's just an auto, but believe it or not, it's, it's just as thick as the patch. And it's also in 130 point. And this one is also 130 point, but we decided to put this one in a mag. And if you guys didn't know, I'm gonna try to show you guys. Let me let the light hit it just right. All right, there it is. So if you, if you got a, a mag from someone and like you don't know like what size the card is exactly, what I just showed you kind of you know, tells you exactly the size of the, the mag itself. So, so that's uh, really, really helpful in my opinion. And what do we got next? So we got Revolution. Revolution is obviously like one of those paper sets. So these are all gonna fit in 35 point, you know, whether it's a base, numbered parallel or an auto, they're all gonna fit in 35 point. You don't need to take it to, 35, uh, to 55 point just yet. And then, actually, let's start covering, I guess, Panini case hits. So these are from like different sets because they can like be in Mosaic and like select and there's like some overlap. So there's Overdrive for Mosaic. This is gonna be, you know, regular stock. Uh, so just like base prism, so 35 points. And then also Deep Space from one of the recent sets and also Groovy, but I don't have one of those actually. And then Color Blast, believe it or not, actually goes in 35 points. So unless you somehow get like maybe an older color blast that feels like way thicker than a, a base card, a base prism card, then yeah, it should go in 35 points. And that also applies to stained glass as well. But when we go to Kabooms, Kabooms are gonna be the first or like the, one of the few regular case hits that, you know, go in like 55 points. So this one is actually in 55 point. So we have all these Panini case hits that, you know, fit in 35 point and then kaboom, just because, I don't know, traditionally it's been like a different kind of stock, it goes into 55 points. Okay, now going on to the Topps mainstream sets, I guess. So we're gonna start with Topps paper set, flagship. So here's a uh, base card, Mosala, and then a uh, base foil, which is kind of like the equivalent of like silver or whatever for Chrome. And then we have a numbered uh, parallel and we have Actually, do I wanna... So let me take this printing plate out. This is a one of one. And if I put this in a newer 35 point, it fits just as well as the other ones. So what I'm trying to say here, and let me just show you the rest of these cards. So we have a base auto, we have a foil auto, and then we have a numbered auto. So every single one of these is going in a 35 point as well. So just to kind of show you guys right in front of you every single variation that we can all of the tops flagship all the way to autos will go unless they're like some weird case hit that's like i don't know like i mean you, you can tell if they're if you if you try to put actually let me let me try to get uh well i don't know Let, let's get to another example and then i'll kind of show you like if you try to put a 55 point in a 35 point the amount of resistance you get in the top loader so the whole point is when you put the card in the top loader you shouldn't feel any resistance whatsoever 
So if you do feel resistance, maybe you're using a smaller size top loader than you should, or maybe it's just that specific top loader is kind of like bad, so you might want to like throw that one away. Okay, so up next is going to be Tops Chrome. So this is where things kind of get uh, complicated, unlike Prism. So this is kind of like the competitor of Prism, and this is a, a base, Tops Chrome, 35 point. Uh, you put it in a regular top loader, but the refractors as well also go 35 point. Uh, inserts also go to 35 point, and then non-numbered uh, parallels also go to 35 point. And here is where we start to get into uh, 55 point, or like 50 to 60 point basically. So, I mean, if you saw the, the table earlier, you'll see that there's like a 55 point, 59 point, 60 point. Uh, those will work for all of these. So you have the uh, numbered parallels that have the stamp on the front and the numbered parallels that have the stamp uh, on the back. These are gonna use, you know, 55 point, 59 point, 60 point top loaders. And uh, believe it or not, also regular top or regular autographs. These are also, even if they're not numbered, uh, you should put them in like thicker uh, top loaders than like 50 to 55 point. And of course, the numbered autographs, these are also gonna, you know, go in 55 points, no problem at all. And let's move to the smaller variation of Topps Chrome, which is Topps Chrome Sapphire. And the base actually can slide into 35 point, but when you get numbered ones from Sapphire, it's basically the same story as all the other Topps Chrome ones. Uh, these go into 55 point, kind of like that group. And if you haven't realized the uh, pattern now with Topps, uh, all the regular Chrome cards will fit in 35 point, but as soon as they become numbered, or as soon as they turn into autos, uh, or numbered autos, so this one, it's just a regular insert. This one's going to 35 point. And the numbered ones and autos and numbered autos, those are all gonna go in like 55 point plus. Okay, more examples. So Topps Stadium Club Chrome. So they do have a uh, stadium, you know, or stadium club, it's not like Chrome, but I don't have any of those cards because at least for soccer, those are like, what, 2016, last time they made them and I just don't have any of them. So the base is gonna be 35 point and base inserts as well. But obviously same story with uh, the previous sets that we just uh, explained. Base auto, base, or not base, base auto, and then numbered card, and then numbered auto. These are all gonna go in 55 point uh, to 60 point uh, top loaders. Okay, and then Merlin, the set that I know almost everyone loves. Uh, base is gonna go in 35 points. Uh, refractor as well, and then base uh, insert, which, you know, most of the time these are, or 99% of the time, these are going to be refractors by default. These are also 35 point, but like with the others, uh, as soon as we get to numbered cards, uh, these are going to, you know, start getting into 55 point to like 60 point uh, top loaders. Same for autos and uh, numbered autos. All right, next category is going to be, what do we have? Futera looks like. So this is an older Futera card, and I want to say like most Futera cards will, you know, just slide into 55 points. So I don't recommend putting any of those in uh, 35 points, uh, even though this one is, you know, this is from like, what, 2003? So this will fit in 35 point, but you know, that's because from my experience, I kind of like know like what this goes into, but... Um, most of the stuff from Futera is going to be 55 point plus. So this one is thicker than the one we just looked at. And this one is also from like around the same time that this came out. So this is like a throwback. This isn't like an official auto. He just like signed it uh, himself. And then I had to kind of get it from someone because I couldn't resist. So I'm like, wow, Ricosta auto. I've never seen his auto before. So, and then we have, um, I should have taken this out of the team bag. But this is even a, well, I'm pretty sure this is a thicker one. So this is, this is still in the 55 point realm. So it might be like uh, towards like 60 point. So if I actually, just to show you guys, actually, I kind of have a feeling this one is, isn't really, let me just get a fresh 55 point and put this all in it. Yeah, so that should go in, no problem. And again, I just use 55 point. So this first Futera one, which is kind of like an anomaly, 35 point. And then when they start getting thicker, which is typically the very, very like average thickness for a few tarot cards, 55 point to 60 point. And then when you get into the MEMS, 
This one is obviously you guys can see it's much thicker than this one over here. And most of the time, these are gonna be like 130 point. There are some Futera patches that are also like 100 point, but I don't have any of those uh, with me right now. But yeah, this is a 130 point. And this one's actually from a very, very unfortunate match <laughs> against Liverpool. So let's not talk about that one. Okay, what is next now? So we have, we're gonna have like some, you know, miscellaneous sets right now. So we have like Topps Crystal, we have like a lot of these like sets are like are kind of like semi on demand kind of thing. So Topps Crystal, you don't really see that much. This one's like regular 35 points. Uh, same with this one. Uh, I forgot, yeah, this one was like Topps Gold. And then Topps Now, and like Panini Instant, like these are all gonna be like 35 point. So I wouldn't really worry about getting like thicker ones for those ones. And then you have like the Merlin like throwback ones. So the reason why I have these separated is because they're kind of tricky. So the regular one is 35 point. I'm gonna put it in a 35 point uh, top loader, no problem. And then this one is also an auto. So this one was numbered. So the base and the numbered ones, you know, since it's a paid per set, it's gonna fit in 35 point. You guys have probably realized the pattern now. And then this numbered auto is also gonna go in a regular 35 point. But when you do get into these like uh, more complicated foils, uh, these are gonna turn into like 55 points. So you wanna put this in a thicker top loader and especially the numbered ones as well. This one is somehow not numbered, but it's thicker. So this is one of the few exceptions where the pattern doesn't really apply, but you just wanna kinda be careful. And you know, the, the more time goes by, like the more experience you'll get and the more, or the easier this will be. And then here we're gonna go into like vintage category. So we have like these uh, throwback stickers. So Pirlo, semi-rookie, I guess, or Shevchenko. I think actually maybe both of these are true rookies. I can't remember. I think they are. Anyway, so stickers, and then we have like a more recent one. These are all gonna be in like, you can put them in 20 point. I have these in 35 point because I never buy 20 point top loaders. Uh, but yeah, they will slide out relatively easily in 35 points, but I typically put tape on like this. Uh, I took the tape off for these ones because they were like blocking <laughs> the players' faces. But yeah, for stickers, uh, they're really, really thin. So 20 point works. And I mean, they might even slide out from those. And then you have like all these other throwback ones. So we have like, I don't know, this is from like Upper Deck. Uh, 35 point is fine. I had this like throwback Merlin from like, what was this, 19, I forgot what year this is from. It's probably like 1996 or 1995 or something. Anyway, uh, this one also, even though it's like foil and it seems like it could be a thicker card, it's in 35 point. So it's not really that crazy. And then you have like WCCF stuff also goes into 35 point. So that's the probably end of the miscellaneous stuff or, well, that was like vintage category. So let's go to score. There's not that much score stuff for, uh, for soccer, but it might be different for other sports, but score for sure uh, goes into like 35 point, even the numbered ones. So the base and the numbered ones, we put them in uh, 35 point. And then there's like Donruss Elite as well. Uh, this is the soccer one. Some sports will be different. But yeah, this one is actually thinner than this one, but we put both in 35 point because they both fit in it. Uh, this one could fit in at 20 probably, but yeah, like I said earlier, start with 35 point and then work your way up. I wouldn't really risk any sort of resistance. And here's like tops impact. So this base will go into a 35 points top loader. And this one slid in pretty easily, but the uh, numbered parallels and the numbered autos are gonna need to go into a thicker one, which is like the 55 point to 60 point group. And right after that, we have like Leaf, which is a rare appearance on this channel. Uh, the base is gonna be regular, you know, 35 points, pretty standard, and the autos as well. So I just, I don't know, I had this for some reason, but yeah, both autos and, um, and base go into this. If they're from the Leaf paper set, so Leaf has like metal, and I'm pretty sure, well, actually, I don't really have that much experience with Leaf Metal, uh, but I'm pretty sure they go into like thicker top loaders. And for our match tax fans and our Adrenaline XL, uh, these also go in 35 points. Uh, so yeah, that's that. And now for the higher end category, let me actually just bring these closer. So you can just a second. Okay, so let's start with uh, Obsidian. And for the most part, Obsidian base cards and parallels 
will fit into 55 points. No, oh, I was looking for the top loaders and I just had them in the back. So the base cards, they're typically numbered for obsidian. You're not gonna get a non-numbered obsidian unless they change in the future. But 55 points to 60 points. And also for the floods and numbered cards, this one is gonna be a Contra out of nine, just to kind of show you guys. And uh, yeah, there's an auto that is actually the same thickness as the base. So we're gonna put this one in a 55 point as well. 55 point to 60 point. Again, don't forget, every time I say 55 point, I'm referring to that entire group that was like in the table. So like should be a uh, thick category A. And then you have uh, 130 points for patches and then patch autos as well from Obsidian. And here's the 130 points going in. Again, as long as you don't feel resistance, the moment you put it in, you should be good with the top loader. But don't put it in a top loader that's too big because you don't want it sliding out and getting damaged. And what is next? All right, let's go to Museum. And let's take a look at this numbered card. So this and the base, non-numbered base, this, these are gonna go in 55 points uh, top loaders. So in that range. And then when you go to like uh, thinner patches or thinner autographs, these are gonna be in like 75 points to like 100, it really depends on the card. I think 100 is gonna be a little bit too loose for these. So maybe 75 point is gonna be uh, pretty ideal for these uh, thinner patches. They're typically 130 point, but yeah, when you get these like thinner, thinner patch cards, that's what they're gonna, gonna be in 75 point to like 100 point and then these regular patch cards this is the standard 130 point as you guys can see this is much thicker than that one and that's basically it for a museum so some of the museum cards that have the gold frame on them those are probably going to be so they won't fit in 130 point so you're going to want to put them in like 180 point uh, top loaders and I mean even in those they might be a little slightly loose so if they're loose you know just take the top and it won't be an issue all right next is impeccable and there's a lot of stuff to go with impeccable let's start with the base Mosala so most of impeccable stuff is going to be in 130 point so starting off with the base this one is going to be 130 point and then also the numbered parallels same thing with the base you know nothing's changed other than the serial number 130 point as well and then we have the autographs. And then you, when you have all this like fancy stuff sometimes, uh, you know, it's still 130 point. As I mentioned just now, for the most part, everything in Impeccable is 130 point. And here we have a, a dual patch, also 130 point, surprise, surprise. Uh, and then one of the exceptions is gonna be this metal card. Actually, all the metal cards are like exceptions. So this stainless steel one uh, fit in a 55 point. So 55 point to 60 point. You should be good to go for these metal cards. They're they're nowhere near as thick as as these ones, but they're definitely thicker than the standard uh, chrome card. So here is the thick boy from earlier. This is in 360 points. Uh, we pulled this Gavin Bazuno on the channel, and let me just show you 360 point. If you kind of receive one again and you don't know like what thickness it is, but let's move to national treasures oh, actually let me set this down so it doesn't fall on anything all right so national treasures follows kind of like the same pattern as impeccable uh until you get to like the maybe patches or like thicker cards but here's uh kind of like a base base parallel so the base cards and the base parallels are going to be like numbered and you know this one is 130 points so starting off with that and then we have a patch pretty uh, a relatively jumbo medium patch uh, this one is also going to be in 130 points. And then we have this uh, kind of on-card auto. So typically, uh, like towards the maybe higher end of the autos or like the checklist and national treasures, I want to say, uh, the cards do end up getting thicker. And this one specifically is in a 180 point mag. So yeah, just keep that in mind when you're handling national treasures have some 130 point top loaders and 180 point and potentially even more than that. And let's go to Impeccable, I only have, or sorry, not Impeccable, Immaculate, I only have two examples. I don't have any patches or the ones that I have, I couldn't find them. So I'm trying guys. Uh, here's a uh, base parallel. So the base and the parallels are gonna be like 130 point, surprise, surprise. And also the uh, autographs from Immaculate are also gonna be 130 points. So there is that. 
And let's actually take care of this real quick because the last one is going to be like all the sets that you don't really see that often. Uh, these are both from Chronicles. Uh, this is National Treasures from Chronicles. And this is uh, Illusions Patch uh, from Chronicles as well. So this one is 130 points. And then for Illusions, this is going to be like uh, similar to that museum uh, patch auto that we saw earlier. This one's going to be in like 75 to like 100 point. I'm looking at this and I see like a hundred point basically with experience, obviously just from handling the card and seeing it, you'll kind of be able to tell like what thickness it is. So last segment of the video, and hopefully you guys have found this helpful so far. And hopefully the, you know, the, the segments that I've had uh, bookmarked in the description will help a lot of people kind of navigate through this. So you're not, you're not sitting through like, I don't know, I feel like this is going to be like 30 to 40 minute video, if not an hour. So, Okay. So we have Aficionado, you don't really see this set a lot. Uh, this one is gonna be in like regular 35 points. And next one is gonna be a gold standard. And believe it or not, this one does fit in a 55 point top loader. If you're, uh, you know, kind of worried that it might get squished for whatever reason, put it in a 75 point, why not? And here's a Harry Kane base from Spectra. And most Spectra cards in my experience are like 130 point minimum. So this is a base and it's like 130 point. Like we said, when you get up to those uh, higher end cards, 130 point is standard. And here's a Jamie Vardy. I don't know why I just didn't have the tape removed. But anyway, uh, this is a numbered uh, auto and this is also 130 point. Surprise, surprise. And here is an example of a set called Status. I don't think there's any soccer cards in Status, but you know, basketball and football have these like um, standalone ones. Actually, I don't know if football does, but basketball does for sure. So this is also 130 points. And then this one is Essentials. Uh, you'll see this in Chronicles sometimes for soccer. Uh, this one is going to be 55 point. And if you're really, really worried, you can put it in 75 point if you want to. And here's Noir. So also one of the um, sets that we don't ever see again, unless they're maybe in Chronicles. Uh, this one is also going to be 130 points. And Black Gold. So Black Gold uh, Patch Auto and Black Gold uh, Auto. They are both 130 points. So Black Gold is like kind of strange because it's like you can actually see the, the separate layers of the card. But anyway, both 130 point again, surprise, surprise. And here we go to Inception. Uh, Inception is going to be uh, one of those like 100 point that was really easy to come off. Uh, this is going to be like 100 point. So not quite 130 points. So no surprise, surprise there. But uh, if you have Inception cards, so base, numbered, autos, they're all going to go in uh, 100 point unless they're... Uh, I don't know, booklets, <laughs> basically. They're, they'll go in like a much, much bigger, double if not triple the size. And yeah, uh, here's Pearl. I don't know if you're ever gonna see this set again because it was like an anniversary thing. This one is 130 points. And last but not least, we do have Treble. So Treble is just like one of those very, very interesting in-demand sets that a lot of people, you know, have been trying to get because it looks amazing, but you can't buy it anymore because, or you can, it's just like really rare that it pops up because, uh, yeah, it's uh, like I said, it's a beautiful set. I mean, just like look at this, look at this parallel. Just that one in like Topps Chrome 2017. They basically have like a very, very similar pattern. But yeah, these go in 55 points. And worst case scenario, you put them in 75 point if you're not comfortable. So the base, the, the numbered cards and the autos. And after a very, very long recording session, uh, I'm gonna try to put this together so that it makes sense to most of you, but again, I think the bookmarks are going to be the most helpful part about this. So you can just like jump to the category uh, that you want to see. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Stick around for more uh, uh, content, reviews, giveaways. If you have any questions, you know, just send us a message on Instagram, Discord, uh, or even ask it in the comments down below. I'm sure like our community is pretty helpful. So yeah, again, thanks uh, for all the support and uh, thanks for sticking around the channel. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.